Hello, my dear friends. I continue my presentation about International Apidological Congress Apimondia 2030, which was held in Ukraine in September 29th, October 4th, 2030. Yes, I just been interrupted because camera just stopped in after 10 minutes. So I should say Api Expo, Apidological Exposition was very very useful for people if you wanted to receive some informational material about beekeeping well i collected such a huge stock of material some chinese made this lovely furs yeah lovely indeed others we distributed some samples like this american company distributed this queen isolator well Sample or some others like this Api Life Bar and this Power B. People distributed some samples for taking care of our bees. And of course, you know, Ukrainian companies were not so proliferous and the number of them were smaller. Nevertheless, so Ukrainian and Russian companies made some presentation. I collected also these papers about them they were quite useful and i hope they will be useful so you see i did also translation for some people i said like for ivan grigorchuk i did translation and i was pleased to make to make translation for some five six, six people of ukrainian beekeepers during our innovational section of course i did it for free i don't know just this was spontaneous because i got Nazim committee didn't offer it for me, so I, I guess they didn't offer me the payment as well, but I don't mind if the next time we'll do it. And I say, if you use all these name cards, it will be very useful for contacts with your friends, with colleagues to establish useful collaboration. Collaboration, contacts, exchange by ideas by publications, maybe some business offers as well. And maybe it will be useful for publication of your results because after pre after the Apimondia people received these delegate certificates but we were participating, some people were very lucky to receive awards and some medals, golden, silver and bronze medals some are very lucky to receive two or three, four or five medals all together. Just one person. Some people from America, from Brazil, are very lucky to get this number of medals. Others we got at least price of a certificate. So far, as we say in our Ukrainian and Russian proverb, a huge expectations could give you just a huge disappointments. Well, I didn't make huge expectations, so I didn't receive huge disappointments. Nevertheless, I had some expectations about cooperation with people, so I got some names and some name cards, and I established some good friendly relations with people who came to international Apidological Congress, Apimondia 2030. I will be lucky to be in touch with these people from such countries as United Kingdom, Brazil, China, Indonesia, South Korea, and some others. France, Holland, well, Slovenia, China, of course, I said it as well, maybe India. Yeah. So many countries were presented in Apimondia. And if you've been there, if you co cooperated with people, if you contact with them, if you discussed your interesting ideas, your questions, if you ask questions, other people reply to you and maybe you will get some high points for cooperation, for future discussion and for future work together. That's a major point of international conference. Even one British man, he, he, I remember this 
story. He came to one very young beekeeper. I said, oh yes, I would like to ask this Ukrainian beekeeper. I said, okay, what do you like to ask? Yes, why he's here, he's very young. I, I asked him, yes, are you here and you are young? Yes, he said, yes, I'm 21. And do you have it? bees? Yes, I'm taking care of bees, maybe 50 uh, beehives. I said, oh, and what's about your father? Oh, father has more than 50. I said, whoa, 100. Well, good. And what are you expecting here? Yes, it's useful for contacts, for cooperation. And I, I asked him, and what's later? And the answer was very funny and surprising. He said, well, I want to sell my beehives. What's wrong? I want to sell my 50 beehives and maybe I will find a job abroad. Maybe in Europe. Maybe as a beekeeper or as an agriculturist. Because I'm going to be graduated at the university and after university I want to find a job. And that's not the first case. When I ask the same situation person, very young student from another university, which been presented in Apimonia, he said, nearly totally the same. He said, I want to go abroad and to find a job over there. And even some other others beekeepers were saying me the same. They were interested to find well-paid job abroad. And so I was thinking, why not? It's a good idea. If you can speak English, if you can take care about bees, if you are already skilled beekeeper or you're a skilled biologist, skilled scientist. So you can use your hands, your brain, your skills to, to work, to teach, to study somewhere abroad. For that you need to use your English, or at least you have to start to improve your English. You have to use skills how to collect and harvest honey, how to use your hand and computer to type your publications, and of course how to use name cards to establish contacts, to find the right person at the right time and to came to come to this place in the right time for the right job and to make right and interesting results. And the way it would be done in Ukraine, somewhere in Asia, in America, in Europe, in Australia, New Zealand, it's up to you, up to your interest, up to your emotions, your enthusiasm. That's why I'm talking about it in English. If you can speak English, if you can learn English, if you can understand English, if you can write, read, listen to English. So you can understand me. Otherwise it's not interesting for you. So that's why this is a video for people who can speak English, who can enjoy English. If you can, open your mind. Live, enjoy. And for next meetings, I'm talking about Ukraine, about beekeeping, about honey, and about another new congresses and conferences. And good luck and see you soon on my video channel. Good luck.